Hello, I'm Chef Chad. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, today, I'm going to be uh, breaking down two whole chickens that I purchased. Um, the first one, I'm just going to do what's called spatchcock, which is where you take out the backbone, you make it lie flat. It's great for grilling or roasting because it's kind of an even thickness and um, it will um, cook more evenly. I'm gonna rub that with some spices. I got a recipe um, from Melinda, sorry, Melissa Clark's cookbook, Dinner. Um, which has a lot of really good things. It's nice because most of the meals, uh, recipes are a full meal. It's not, okay, here's my entree. What am I going to make for uh, starch? What am I gonna make for a, uh, a vegetable? You can obviously mix and match. You don't have to do everything she says. Um, I am using some air chilled um, organic chicken that I purchased. Um, it was on sale at Kroger's. So um, um, organic is definitely more expensive. Um, it doesn't have to be organic, but I always try to find air chilled these days. Um, generally that means it's been air chilled, it hasn't been like flash frozen, they haven't added any saline or salt water to it to pump it up and make it more so. Even though you're paying more per pound for it, it's not like one of those chickens that's, you know, 10-15% water that's been injected in it. Um, so it's a lower price, but the actual quality of meat is not always there. So generally I try to be kind of careful, you never know how much um, blood, etc., etc., is going to come out of these. These seem to be pretty, pretty well dry. There's chicken. They take out the giblets. Uh, there's usually a neck, heart, liver, giblets, all kinds of stuff in there. Um, I'll use those for something else. The neck, heart, the giblets I usually put in my stock. I have a stock pot going that I'm going to put some of the stuff in there as we go. Um, but mostly I'm going to do another video explaining the stock, like I did with the with the um, beef video, if you watch that. So to spatchcock, the first thing you do is you, you have to take out this. You could use a heavy, sharp knife, which will get you through um, through there. I happen to have these um, kitchen scissors, these super heavy ditty, ditty. So I am just going to use that. and go right up alongside the backbone. And this will just cut right through there. I'm only using these because I have them. Um, I wouldn't say you need to go out and get them. How often do you really need to cut through the bones, etc., etc., on a chicken? So there we've got one side of the backbone out. I'm going to kind of come up the other side. And these are very sharp and heavy duty, so make sure you don't get your fingers caught in there because you could probably lose one. So that cut through the bones the skin, so there is my chicken back. I'm gonna put that in the stock pot because we're gonna turn that into some soup. And then the only other thing you have to do is kind of break the breastbone so that the chicken will lay down flat. So this here is gonna go on a sheet pan, fold the wings underneath like this. And that will go on a sheet pan and uh, we'll be seasoning it later, like I said, with Melissa Clark's uh, chili rub spatchcock chicken recipe. So I put this behind me and move on to the next chicken. So that was the easy one. Uh, this one, I'm not gonna need the boning scissors, so I can just get rid of those right now. And so this chicken here, again, I'm going to pull that out. And this was a five pound chicken, almost. Both of these were about five pounds, about the same size. So this one here, again, the giblets, um, so every chef at culinary school, every class had a different way of doing the chicken. Um, the one I used the most is probably the first one. However, when I went to my second class, I tried to cut a chicken up this way. The chef there says, oh, what are you doing? I said, I'm cutting up a chicken like Chef Muth said. So, well, that's not how I cut up chickens. So after that, I learned every time a chef would tell me to cut up a chicken, I'd say, well, first, how would you like that cut up? Because they have different reasons. Um, first thing I usually do is I cut off the wing. Uh, I do that for two reasons. Um, one, um, you can kind of save some of this meat um, when you take the breasts off, is what you're going to do in just a minute. Um, two, I like to have this, if I'm, especially if I'm planning on saving these wings, so that I can make some buffalo wings um, or chicken wings, I think we'll be doing. Um, as we get closer to the Super Bowl, um, I'll get some more wings with these, and uh, we will put that together on another video. So you just kind of go in at a right degree angle and then down. If you cut right at the joint, I've been doing this for a long time, so I know right where that is. 
don't be afraid to, to dig around a little bit until you figure out the easiest way to cut into the stock later. Um, as I was saying before I realized my camera had shut off, um, on the back here, you kind of cut, pull the legs back so you get the, the bones out of joint, which will make it easier to cut through there. But there is a big chunk of meat right here on both sides. Um, a lot of people call that the oyster. And some people say it is the most tender and best part of the chicken. I know I always try to, you know, if there's ever a whole chicken, a rotisserie chicken, I always try to get that piece. And then once I get here, I can pull that leg off. So I've got one quarter there. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Again, trying to use the tip of the knife to cut out that oyster so that doesn't go get wasted and put into the stock pot with the bones. So here we go. And then I can flip this over, pull that out here. Just like the wings, um, there is a joint right in here. So once you know where that is, you can cut that out. You end up with a couple of drumsticks. which I really like. Um, my family not so much though, so generally I kind of throw those into the, um, the, in with the chicken wings. So, once I do that, I like to debone the chicken thighs. Um, you can buy them deboned. It's really not that much work with a sharp knife. And you just kind of carefully cut around the bone and then you can pull that out. Again, that's gonna go in the stock pot. And I've got this nice boneless chicken thigh. You can, I leave the skin on, but you know, when I make something, usually sometimes I'll take that off. Sometimes I like to have a crispy skin. Uh, really depends on what you like. And then this one here is gonna be a little bit more difficult because I've still got the, the back bone on here. It didn't come out of the joint like I had tried. So I'm just going to kind of cut along there. And then this too will go into my stock pot. Uh, then it's just a matter of cutting like I did before along the bone until you can kind of start to pull one up just a little bit and you can kind of get underneath that first edge. And the rest of it just comes off. I have done literally hundreds of chickens. So take your time the first couple times and you, know, you want to get as much of that meat on there as possible. And then that goes also into my chicken parts stock pot. And I'm left with just the, the breast. So from here, I pull the back off just because it's easier to lay this somewhat flat to get the chicken breasts off. And you go right down the middle. And there, you'll feel the wishbone in there. Some people will take that wishbone out before they do this. You can get marginally a little bit more meat in there. And then pull the breast off. And then you go right down the other side. There's the sternum right there in the middle. That's kind of your guide. Um, especially when the chicken is cold or anytime you're cutting meat with a sharp knife, you need to be careful because you can easily slip and cut your finger, especially if your fingers are cold, you might not even notice it right away. So try to keep where, where your fingers are at all times. This, the wishbone again caught in there. So now I do that carefully, go on the side here. And then this also, there's a lot of good cartilage and stuff inside this part that will add to the richness of the stock. And then I have my chicken breasts and inside here is this small piece. That's your chicken tenders, chicken fingers, as you might find. So there's two of those per chicken. And then two breasts, two thighs, two legs, and two whole wings, which gives us four pieces. So there we have um, one whole chicken cut up and ready to be used for different things. And uh, some of those things will be in future videos. I'm Chef Chad, thanks for watching and thanks for coming to my kitchen.